Hi, everybody. It's Ginger with TGS Source. Praise his holy name. That little guy up there sings the Mariner song. The whole thing when they've learned it. Amazing. I think maybe that's where the song came from. How is everybody doing? Well, you are being welcomed in earnest, Abba's Acres. Right over there on the other side of that ridge. Oh, let me back out. Okay, there you go. <clears throat> Excuse me. Is well, you can see the white rabbit in there really, really well. At a certain point when the snow melts, it's a big lion around there. It's a big lion's face. But right now, this the white rabbit. So it's been for me. It's been lion of the tribe of Judah, and the matrix all mushed up all the white rabbit. So that's kind of why the website has a little bit of that going on, because there's a little bit of that going on. And speaking of that, uh, let's go ahead and get to the good stuff before it changes. Okay, we've done this before, everybody who's been with me, us, who's been with us, TGS Source. Right up there is the moon. And I hope you can see it, because I can't really see what I'm filming again like normal. but. That's the moon. Now, I'm going to back out so you can really see it. I don't know if I could put my finger. Because I can't see what I'm doing. So I won't do that. And then over here, now watch how much sky goes by. Judge by the trees, okay? There we go. It's getting a little weird with the focus, but there's the trees. Our mariner bird is still chirping along. So no fancy footwork here, movie camera wise. And here's our wonderful sun right there. And it's doing some crazy, not crazy, but it's doing some interesting stuff. You know, Revelation to John and all. But anyway, there's the sun. So let's skim back across. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four moon Mississippi. Okay, so now for judgment, I'm going to back out again. So you can really get an idea if you can. Because some are going to stay veiled, and others are chosen to be awake. There's the rabbit caldera. So here's the moon in reference. There we go. Hopefully it's focused. Okay. Rabbit. White rabbit. Line of the tribe of Judah. One creator, twelve tribes. Yeah. That's all of us. The watchman on the wall. And our family members. So here's the rest of this guy going by. All right. See how much of the sky is going by? Oh, and see where that spruce tree is split up there? Yeah. Someone asked me if I could shoot. And I said, yeah, I can shoot. And they're like, yeah, prove it to me. So I said, well, where would you like me to shoot? And he pointed to the top of that spruce tree. And I'm like, I don't want to hurt it. And then, well, it's been split ever since. So, anywho. And all the birdies make a nest up there. Heavenly Father had me split that sucker right down the middle. I guess he wasn't a threat to me no more if he ever was. Anyway, so here's the rest of the sky. More sky. Yay, praise his holy name while we're going through the sky. How is everybody? Really, though, comment and let me know. I'll be coming back on grid, you know, when, how I do, whenever Abba says. So see how much of the sky there? Without making you sick. Oh, we didn't count Mississippi. -ly. Hold on. We got to count Mississippi. -ly. Okay. One Mississippi. Two Mississippi. Three Mississippi. I'm even going fast Mississippi. Four Mississippi. Oh, there's the lane. So we won't count Mississippi for like time right now, but just for span. Just showing you the lane. Now you can tell how much further it is. Yay. And on the website, you'll see that lane, the snowy lane on the front. That's the lane. The snow. And Abba has it fill in with all kind vegetation. So not many people want to come down this road generally. Fills right in. It's fun at night when it does get dark. And that's rare. Which brings me back to the sky. The sky. And there's the caldera. White rabbit caldera. And the moon again. So that's a significant shortage of portion for what the rest of the... We, we see that goes on every day here, every single day. 
So the question that I've asked before is, what does the Southern Hemisphere do on a flat plane? And not that it's, there's no argument, and it certainly is not a salvation issue. Um, <clears throat> what it goes to is just the fact that they lied to us about absolutely everything. And the Flat Earth Society was created to throw everybody off, kind of like the term conspiracy theory um, is used today. Oops, there's the shadow. But yeah, so they went ahead of the narrative, created the Flat Earth Society, so that we all end up looking bonkers um, when we figure it out, which they knew we would figure it out because they have time traveled and have been time traveling for who knows how long, my gosh. Exciting, but yeah, who knows how long they've been time traveling. Anyway, so this little wheelbarrow, little update, is filled with poppies and wild lettuce. Here are some of the corn in here. I transplanted some over to here, uh, but Parker keeps digging in there. So praise your holy name. I'll better keep them safe. I, um, this bin is a little lower than normal. So here's the corn all transplanted. You guys remember seeing it start. Yeah, been with us ever since. Now it's at all his acres. And today I planted, got the kale in, arugula, and a mescaline salad mix. And then over here, let's see. I'm not sure how much space we have on this. Uh, I'm still getting this all cleaned up. It was kind of, it had some issues this winter. Big, heavy snow up here. Tall. But anyway, so here's the cucumber babies and watermelon ones and little okra. They are all sprouting. And you remember the lettuce we did? Ready to go. And also the poppies are there. And we just graduated these poppies today. A whole bunch of them up there. I'm not going to quite go right now. There's the radish bin. Can you see? Oh, yeah. Those are looking really groovy. And we'll eat a lot of the greens, too. And then there'll be radishes. And we got turnips planted, rutabagas, uh, little onions, red onions, beets, all in this box right here. And then here's our lettuce trees that we were growing, remember? Yeah, look at these guys. I know. Aren't they beautiful? And they're bolting. And, you know, I, I intended them to bolt so that I could, um, so that we could have the seeds. Because <clears throat> if we are still here, people are going to need seeds. Good seeds. That's for sure. And we are supposed to enter to the end, so odds are we are going to be here. Uh, three and a half more years or so. Something like that. Wow. Look at that. Who knows? Somewhere in there. No one knows the hour or the time of the day, but, you know, that was specifically for a certain portion of Revelation. And I challenge you to go find out what it is. Um, and people quote it often for lots and lots of events that we are to know about. So, all right. Well, here we are. Yep. Oh, we got tons of stuff planted in there. And, and I'll do another segment when I know I've got lots of juice. All right. We love you guys so much. Yeah. Yeah, all the white rabbit and the lion of the tribe of Judah all in what? Simulation. Simulacra and simulation. Look it up on the website. It's well, the book, The Matrix, was. Um, oh, I got mosquitoes getting me. Was. Uh, came from. Came from. Okay. Love you guys. Bye.